Hey guys, Matt here from Herbal House. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Quantum Par 100 water and the Quantum Par 200 watt variants. So what we're going to do is give you a quick run through of what you get in the box, uh, what to expect and pretty much a general overlay of how to make these work best for you. Here's the Quantum Par 100 watt inside the box here. Obviously when you're cutting it open do be careful. It includes two instruction booklets to help, you, help get you going here. LED grower's guide and a more specific Quantum Par manual. Now be aware there are some slight changes here which is simply the remote driver which we'll be covering later in the video. So in here is your Four Seasons remote driver. Now inside this box here is the Meanwell XLG series driver with the dimmer at the end there of course. We have the two cables, one to power the driver box and one from the driver box to the LED. We have adjustable hangers, wire hangers, and all the accessories to get you up and running, which we'll be covering. And hidden in the bottom of the box here securely is the 100 watt quantum power panel with Samsung and Osram diodes. And here we have the 200 watt quantum power variation. This is similar to the 100 watt, of course, in terms of packaging um, and design, but we'll run through that soon. So here we, of course, have the Four Seasons commercial remote driver box. Now this just has the higher power Meanwhile driver hidden inside there. And of course, both of them, if I didn't mention it in the last one, do have the dimmer control here on the side of the box. So just pulling everything out here, very much the same as the other panel. We have the two cables, one to power between the driver and the board and the power to the driver. And of course we have the hanging, sorry, hanging equipment. And hidden underneath we have the larger board. Now let's just try to this out of here nicely. Flip this over for you guys to see. So as you can see it is a essentially double the 100 watt variation of the quantum par, um, but in a much longer uh, design, I would say. So what we'll do is we'll run through setting these up and um, show you pretty much everything you're getting in the box here between the two and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So both of these panels feature the world-renowned Samsung LM301B diodes, the Osrams for the 660 specific wavelength and 730, and of course the Meanwhile driver within the remote box. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, run through a quick setup for the uh, Quantum Par 100 watt here. Uh, the easiest way is to obviously take the board, uh, just remove these protective corners that it has on the edge there. That and I find flipping it over, looking at the back side of the board there. Now, the hangers that are included, uh, I recommend starting with the one that has the carabiner. That's pretty much the one you're going to use for hanging the light here. And this set of hangers here is for hanging up the driver, should you choose to. And this one here is for the adjustable movement of the actual light panel itself. So, what we're going to do is quickly run through just popping these corners in here. So, these particular clips, uh, I like to find it's a bit easier to just Rest them over the edge and push and slide. Okay, so now that we've got all four clips uh, in the corner, the best thing to do is just put a little bit of tension on this to ensure the clips pull tight and don't get all bound up. Um, there's definitely a few ways you can tackle this. This is just what's included in the box. Uh, some people like to customize their own setups, what suit best for them. Uh, but just before we move on, we'll show you that this clip here, which is the adjustable rope ratchet, is simply snapped onto the top here. And this will allow you to pretty much hang the light and adjust the height easily. Before we move on to this going in the tent, uh, we'll do a quick run through on the cables and how to connect them and how to identify them. So here we obviously have the remote driver with the dimmer at the end just there. Uh, and we have the two supplied cables. Now, pretty much the best way to set this up is ensure you have the cables around the right way, of course. They will only go one way, so I'll show you a quick way to identify that. The end here that does not have the dimmer, this is the power input for the driver. Now that is obviously the three pin standard cable that's included and this plug can only go one way onto the end here and I'll just show you real quick that fitting in there. Like so, tighten it up for a waterproof connection, ready to go. Alright so now that we've got the LED just resting in the bottom of the uh, tent here, obviously a bit of foam is nice to keep things protected. Uh, we're basically just going to unravel this ratchet and hook it onto the top support pole. The easiest way to unravel these ratchets is obviously make sure the string is not tangled up. And on this particular ratchet they have a release tab just on the side here. Just push that and pull on the carabiner 
and through it goes. Now, be careful not to pull this all the way through because it's a bit of a nightmare trying to feed them back through the ratchet, but you're just going to leave a little bit there like so, tall enough to reach the top of the tent basically. Right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to feed this straight over the top, unless of course this clips straight onto your poles, which would be nice, but these tents use the thicker poles, so the easiest way is to just feed it over the top and simply clip it on like that. So there we go, yep, just like that. So what we're going to do is just take the uh, short end here, we're just going to start pulling that through, it's going to be clipping up. And in this particular case, we're only going to lift it to about waist height, obviously situation depending on how high you need this light. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get this set up first. Now, as you can see, as we've lifted it, clips have gone a little bit funny. Just realign those and it'll sit nicely. All right, so we're quickly just going to run through fitting these clips. So it's just the same hook as what's included with the LEDs. So essentially, I find it easier to just put it on there, push and snap. Right, now with the one clip on there, what we're going to do is we're just going to hoop this over the top of this pole here, one of the support poles, and we're just going to clip that back onto the other side of this base here. And what that's going to do is allow this to hang comfortably, and we're going to hook on the other side. Just like that. So that's the remote drive box hanging like so, with the dimmer readily accessible. And what we're going to do is just hook on the cable here down to the LED. All right, so we're just going to bring the lead down from the uh, remote driver up there to feed the panel. So what we're going to do is just unravel that. Obviously, it's all tied up. And you can bring it down, slot it into the female end here. Give it a rotate if it doesn't fit, and it should slot in nicely. Tightening up the gland will keep it watertight and keep the cable from pulling apart. And then from there, you can just tie up the excess cable as you need it. So with the Quantum Par 200 watt variation, it is exactly the same, simply just a larger panel. So I'll do a quick run through on setting that up, essentially just flipping it over here. So just, just like so with the other lights, we're simply going to take that, find it, push it, slide it over. Alright, so once those corner clips are on, we're just going to take the center carabiner there and hook it onto the adjustable ratchet strap, just like so, and then from there it can go in the tent. Right, so same story as the 100 watt. We're simply going to unravel this hanger here. Um, first thing, first step, sorry, is to make sure that the string is pulled out and has no knots in it. Then what we're going to do is hit the release, the tab here on this carabiner, and we're just going to pull that through. Now, of course, remember, don't pull it all the way through because once you lose the end of the string, uh, it's a bit of a nightmare to feed it back through. So what we're going to do is just get it nice and loose, and then we're going to hook this end up on the top of the tent there. Right, so we're just going to pull this one up, up and over the pole, and just clip that on through there like so. What we're going to do is we're just going to take the output from the driver box here, and we're going to feed it onto the panel, give it a rotate, tighten up the gland, make sure it's nice and tight, and that's good to go. We'll just tie up the excess, and then we'll plug it in and show you how it goes. Okay, so that's a quick tutorial for the Quantum Par 100 and the Quantum Par 200 watt. Uh, I would recommend the 100 watt be pretty efficient for a flowering of about a 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter space, and this one for about an 80 centimeter by 60 or by 80, depending on your requirements. You can, of course, beach a slightly larger area, but most of our customers are looking for high performance flowering, so that's right about where we rate them. So you can get either of these from us here at Herbal House. They do include a two-year warranty straight out of the box. And if you have any questions or inquiries, feel free to give us a call. Thanks all for watching. There'll be more videos to come in the near future. Our details are in the description below. Give us a call and we'd love to hear from you. See you next time.